Welcome inside Oracle Arena. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bulls guard Jay Williams. And Jay, next year, the Warriors will move across the Bay to San Francisco. But right now, trying to put on another show here in Oakland. And speaking of a show, how about how many shows we saw in this building? The days of Run TMC, the killer crossover by Tim Hardaway, and how about the sweet shooting of Chris Mullen and Mitch Richmond? Expect nothing short of greatness within these walls. The opening tip controlled by the Warriors, and we're underway in the final year at the Oracle. Curry to Russell. Nothing going here on that drive to Russell. Green gets it in the right corner. To Russell. Fires the three. D'Angelo Russell bothered just enough on that one. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To Wiggins. Let's it fly from long range. His first effort off the mark. Curry into the front court. He'll run the offense. Green to Thompson. With the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Teague with it up top. Down just a couple. Trying to cash in. Knocks it down from mid-range. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. It's Steph Curry with the rock to Russell. Curry. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. Finishing inside the paint on that one. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Curry into the front court. They trail by two. Here comes the screen. Russell guarded by Towns. To Thompson. Curry, there's the toss. The pass set it all up. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Teague with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. To Towns. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Steph Curry picked up by Teague. Screen coming. Russell to Curry. Warriors with four to shoot. Down low, Cauley Stein. 24 second violation. Defended by Steph Curry. Has a chance. Second effort. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. The defense is doing such a good job of denying him the ball and really getting in his pocket. But he got that one to go. Russell to Curry. To Thompson. Down low green. Layup goes down. Well done. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Teague with it up top. Two-point advantage. Covington to Wiggins. To Towns. Down low. Shot from in close. No good. It's Curry controlling the offense. The drive right to the basket. Final shot of the period. Oh, 
almost. It would have counted, but no good. Time's run out here in the first quarter. Good start to this one. After one quarter of play, on to the second period. Jay, neither team was able to get control to start this one. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Both teams came out in the first quarter, and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter, and we're going to have one heck of a ball game. Here's Curry with it up top. 10-6, our score. Russell to Curry. Green to Curry. Shot clock winding down. Thompson. Great defense, forcing the miss. Teague with the basketball. Leads four. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. Not a Ferrari, definitely not a Lambo, but hey, gets you from point A to point B. The screen sets him up for two. Bread and butter, and there are a few that can do it better off the screen. Teague with it up top. The score, 12 to eight. Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. Old school equals high percentage. Curry to Russell. Curry. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Able to convert inside. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Russell into the front court. Five-point game. Here comes the screen. Russell to Curry. Russell to Curry. And the rebound taken in by Towns. It's Minnesota basketball. T defended by Thompson to Towns. Down to four in the shot clock. Towns with a look. Not going down for him this time. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Under a minute to go before halftime. Curry. No good. Teague with the basketball. Up five. To Towns. Not loose. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. It'll stay with the T-Wolves. T. Down low Towns. And it's Cauley Stein with the rebound. Curry with the basketball. Down five. Has a look. Ah, Steph Curry. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Teague, defended by Steph Curry. Can't connect from in close. Off the assist. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, 
was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Clay Thompson able to recover with the block. Clay Thompson, that's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. First foul. First free throw is good. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. That's it. First half has come to an end. It's the Timberwolves in front. Thanks, fellas. Jalen here with your halftime report. The Timberwolves have themselves a narrow lead, and these guys have every reason to feel good about how they scored effectively in that opening half. Great offensive display. These are the guys getting buckets for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Warriors aren't down by too much at the half. And without question, they can put themselves in a position to win this game if they continue to rack up the assists. These are the guys getting buckets for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Assists. The chemistry for each squad has been great today, and that explains the high assist total. Coming out of halftime, I'm interested to see what kind of defensive adjustments are made to limit the easy scoring opportunities. Player of the half. Carl Anthony Towns has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. T Wolves at the controls going up the floor. Short jumper misses. I give this defense so much credit. Sometimes. It pays major dividends to have players that are willing to get their nails dirty. Just dig their hands in the dirt. And that's what kind of stand they're making on the defensive end. T. Here comes the screen. T. Defended by Steph Curry. To Covington. 4-3. Robert Covington is long, and it pays off with the three. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Steph Curry picked up by T. The shot almost to T. Here comes the screen. T sizing up Draymond Green. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end 
when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Number double zero. The Timberwolves have the basketball. Sizing up the defense to Wiggins. Yes, Andrew Wiggins. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. Curry to bring it up. The margin standing now at seven. Russell defended by Towns to Green. To Russell. Fires the three. D'Angelo Russell, hand in his face. No issues there. Oh, I like what you're doing right now. It looks like you're running some DHOs into PNRs. That's dribble handoffs into pick and rolls. You keep running that action, you're constantly going to keep the defense guessing. Covington to Wiggins. And it's cleared by Thompson. Curry into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Thompson to Russell. Coley Stein to Thompson. From long range. Clay Thompson is going to get a chance at three here. A career 85% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. And he misses the second. the free throw one for three on that try Teague with it up top leads three to Covington Towns five to shoot for Minnesota to Teague beyond the arc for three defense swarm Teague missed the three Curry into the front court his guy's down three. Trying to cash in. T here against Steph. Jeff T. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. from 18 feet at the buzzer there's the buzzer three quarters complete the Timberwolves have the lead The Warriors with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes, and you're right back in the ballgame. Nothing going here on that drive. The jumper's off the mark. Draymond Green, putbacks good. He's a relentless scorer. It doesn't matter if you stop him once. He's going to keep coming at you time and time again. Here comes the screen. A bad pass there. Warriors have it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Baseline drive, but he can't finish. Minnesota with the basketball. T matched up with the two-time MVP. Nice pass to set things up. Ooh. 
But shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Thompson to Russell. Reset here. Let's see what they do. Yes, D'Angelo Russell. He has struggled just a little bit. Two for five. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Teague with the basketball. Up by three. To Covington. And the rebound corralled by Cauley Stein. Here's Curry with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Good for three. His instincts are unnatural. But what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and the effort. Wiggins against the former Cougar. Here's a chance from long range. This guy's a handful. Andrew Wiggins, well defended, still able to score. For average shooters, that's not a great shot. But for a great shooter, <laughs> that's a good look. Russell to Curry. Has a chance. He connects off the step back. Oh, my goodness. Someone please patch me into the arena intercom. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. T-Wolves with the basketball. Defense! Defense! To Towns. Defense! Defense! Finishing inside the paint on that one. This is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Steph Curry against Andrew Wiggins. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. It's Covington with the rebound. Teague with it up top. He'll run the offense. They get it down for Towns. Scores from the post. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Now the Warriors gonna call a timeout, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. Curry, and the rebound for Towns. To Wiggins. Here's Towns for two. In scores on the step back. Man, he's got the defender out there tap dancing like that on national TV. That's not a good sign. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State. It's their second and final one of the last three minutes. They cannot stop the clock again.
lost it. How'd that not go down? Here comes the intentional foul, but they did have one to give, so no free throws yet. They'll shoot after the next foul. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. And they're going to play this one out to its conclusion as we get an intentional foul. That means free throws coming up in what is a seven-point game. Smart play. You have fouls to use. Good way to manage the clock without burning the timeout. Nope. First one does not go. Towns on the follow. Deep three at the buzzer. It's a victory for the Timberwolves as they get a good win on the road. That'll wrap things up for Jay Williams and our entire crew. I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Jalen Rose here. And I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Timberwolves put one in the win column with a solid performance. And some people may disagree, but I think their ball movement was the biggest key to their victory. Still, I think we'd all agree that they made the defense look slow and confused throughout this matchup. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Warriors just couldn't get within striking distance toward the end of the game. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you could tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Rebounds. The Golden State Warriors suffered a discrepancy in their rebounding, and in turn, it resulted in a loss. Rebounds are certainly not a glamorous stat, but wins are. And without competitive rebounding, you're not going to get wins. Player of the game. Carl Anthony Towns put up the kind of points that made him an easy choice for this award. He couldn't be stopped. And when he realized he was in his zone, he just took it to another level. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here are the top plays from the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.